Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. This year, I'm thankful for the Paradox Metaverse crypto scam. It's the gift that just keeps on giving. Just when you think it's finally flatlined, no heartbeat left, someone brings out the defibrillator and gives us yet another embarrassing disaster to point and laugh at. To think it was only a brief 24 hours ago that the head of Paradox Metaverse embarrassed himself on video with the worst response the internet has ever seen. It honestly would have been less shameful for this guy if his sex tape leaked instead of that video being made. So his name is Amio Talio, he's the face of Paradox Metaverse, and it hasn't even been a full day and a half, and he's already put his ass in his mouth yet again and made an even bigger fool of himself. So while all of you are enjoying your feast eating turkey, Amio's eating shit. I'll quickly bring everyone up to speed in case you don't know what this situation's about. Paradox Metaverse is a crypto company that has seven components, all of which are like the seven deadly sins of crypto. Each one is crazier and more nutty than the last. None of them seem legitimate whatsoever, promising outrageous things like potentially $500 a day through playing their game, or like these staking protocols that could potentially yield 10 to 100x your money. It's, it's just dumb shit that has been a very common scam in the crypto space for years now. And they decided to do a big marketing push by going on iShow Speedstream and having him shill their project for two and a half hours. It didn't go over well. Everyone laughed at them saying L scam. And it was a big deal. Speed has apologized and moved on. Some people have forgiven him. Some people haven't. That's totally up to the individual on how they feel about the situation. But the people that haven't moved on the most are Paradox Metaverse themselves. They have just been getting saltier, saltier, and more delusional, and it is pathetic to watch. So, a little over 24 hours ago now, Amio Talio made his YouTube response video to all of the criticism, saying that it's only trolls and bots that believe this. If we were a scam, why would we still be here? It's, it's rough. It's fucking rough. And then, shortly after that video came out, a YouTuber and TikTok content creator posted some voice memos that were sent to him by Amio Talio that were threatening his life. Just threatening to beat him up and threatening to put a bounty on him to have people beat him up for him. It's despicable shit. I'll go ahead and show you that now. Little shit, I'm gonna come see you personally myself. Yeah? For spreading all that fake fucking lies on my name. You little bastard. Watch when I catch you, I'm gonna smash your teeth in. Every single time you look at your face in the mirror, you're going to see your broke up nose bust up in 20 different places. That's what I'm going to do, that big fucking nose of yours. Right? You thought it was funny, that you thought it was funny. You can just troll man's on the internet. Oh, I'm not an internet guy. What you see on the internet is one thing. Oh, I'll come down, I'll slap you in your fucking mouth. And the worst is, I'm going to put your fucking name out. Right? I'm going to screenshot your fucking... Your username right now, I'm gonna put 10 bags down for anyone that shows me this guy's address, right? Shows me this guy's address, I'll give him 10 bags. Watch how your own boys will snitch on you and give me your address. And then I'm gonna see what you're gonna say when I come there. Because I think you think I'm just some internet dickhead, but I'm not an internet dickhead. Now that is extremely concerning to hear, but you have to wonder, is it legit? Because... How the fuck could someone in the crypto space be so unaware of how technology works that he didn't realize that those voice memos could be saved? How the fuck would he be so stupid that it would be making criminal threats like that on Snapchat knowing full well it could just be leaked as it did here? So I wanted to know, is it real? And so did CoffeeZilla. CoffeeZilla just made a whole video diving deeper into Amio Talio. And CoffeeZilla talked to the person that received those threats and confirmed with them that they were real. And then it was also confirmed by Amio Talio's partner in Discord that, yeah, he really did send all of those threats. But it was just him being emotional. It was just an emotional moment. As if somehow that makes it okay. He responds, I do agree, emotions can run high when you're being attacked, and everyone is believing it over the truth, and it's overshadowing it. Um, I guess the strategy here being, the best way to stop people from thinking you're a scam is distract them with threats of criminal violence. CoffeeZilla then goes on to showcase other instances where Amio has these meltdowns, even before Paradox Metaverse. This predates that. He's had plenty of moments in his past where he just 
threatens people and freaks out over nothing and just goes fucking ballistic. So this is far from an isolated incident with Amio Talio. This guy freaks out and rages more than a child playing Call of Duty on Xbox Live. It's so pathetic. I also should mention that he did follow through on that threat of putting a bounty on this guy's life. On his Snapchat, there's a screenshot that CoffeeZilla shows where he made this statement, 5k to the person that grabs him and brings him to me, which sounds like a threat straight out of Gotham City here with like an order given by Carmine Falcone. CoffeeZilla had the same level of confusion by this that I did because neither one of us could believe this guy was this stupid, just a giant fucking imbecile, making public threats like this on Snapchat. So he took, he took a picture of the uh, TikTok creator's Snapchat and said 5k to bring me this guy. Like, you have to be out of your mind to think that that's somehow a good idea. I don't know if his brain malfunctioned and he forgot where he was. Like, he thought he was playing GTA 5 role-playing or, or whatever. But it is fucking baffling that this actually happened. And it's all just so public, too. You think by the time you even get your fucking TikToks out, and by the time you can even fucking go to sleep, you little bastard, I'm gonna come see you. You think I'm gonna let motherfucking trolls like you, you little bastard, get away with the shit you're gonna get away with? You think this is the case? Bro, see what happens tonight. I'll come see you myself. Go call whoever the fuck you want. Call the police. Do what the fuck you want. Make your little TikTok shit little pussy, yo. I ain't letting this shit go away. Apparently, the reason he was so mad at this guy is due to threats of blackmail, I guess. At least that's what they were saying. But CoffeeZilla talked to the guy in the video here, and he had no clue what any of that was about, so there's no evidence to suggest there was any level of blackmail that warranted this kind of response. Not that anything would ever justify it, but that blackmail story that they tried to run with seems to be complete dog shit, like actual baloney. There's no proof of that. But there is clearly proof of Amio Talio sending these threats, and these have been verified as him sending these threats. Especially given his history of doing shit like this, it's extremely concerning. And even the community of Paradox Metaverse brainwashed zombies that for some reason bought into this whole idea, they got weirded out by this whole hoopla from Amio Talio here saying that it's not a good look. Which it's not, it's like the worst look possible for your company, I mean it's downright criminal behavior. And this has happened before where someone whose image is, I don't give a fuck, I'm too cool to care, uh, multi-millionaire, doesn't bother me, let the sheep say what they want, not gonna bother with it. The second that person shows a weakness like this, where they're clearly hurt and offended and now making these threats and puffing out their chest and embarrassing themselves, people turn on them. Like, no matter how loyal the following, when they see that you get offended and this insecure, they turn on you like fucking piranhas. So Amio coming in here and showcasing how hurt his feelings were and then making these ridiculous threats, even his own community starts scratching their head and getting a little worried about this whole project. And you can see it kind of reflected in their coins price, which continues to just dip and dip and hopefully will plummet to less than zero soon enough. And hopefully the TikTok creator is safe. An outrageous situation overall that I just wanted to share because this is the latest update in this story that I've been following. And uh, that's really about it. See so, yeah. ya.